Hey and welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is your match preview for our team Wolverhampton Wanderers hosting uh, Crystal Palace the Eagles uh, this weekend at Molyneux 3pm kickoff on a Saturday. How good's that? Uh, loads coming up. Bruno Large has just had his press conference so there'll be some stuff on that. We've got the normal team news, uh, score predictions, predicted lineup, uh, the latest competition from football prizes, my dad, Magic Moss and much more. <music> So let's get stuck into this. As I say, Bruno Lars has just had his press conference. Obviously, the team news um, in terms of injuries, it has been confirmed that Samedo is going to be out for at least a month. Um, but he has com also confirmed that he has the option of uh, picking from Hoover or Johnny in that position. Uh, I'll come on to what I think in a second. Um, he's been asked about various things, including Neto. Um, you know, and one of the things he said about Neto was he might be free to start but you can't play a lot of players that haven't had 90 minutes and obviously we've got a few that have come back uh, from injury and that includes Johnny as well so would he play both of them that's an interesting question he's also been asked about um, the lack of goals um, which he sort of touched on is like the obvious thing well we need to find ways to make sure we convert more goals he's also not been particularly happy from the comments about the defence in the last two or three games uh, not as tight as he would hope um, which I think we can all see and he was also asked if we Wolves were to finish eighth now would you take it and um, I sort of a bit of a tongue-in-cheek reply really it's like saying uh, if we finish out the way we've been playing the last three games then yes we've got 12 games to go I think that kind of says like acknowledges that we haven't really been at the races not even at Leicester we wasn't really at the races were we at that point we managed to get the win um, it'd be interesting but Wolves have got an interesting run of fixtures he's talked about Palace he basically has said that was their worst Wolves worst away performance of the season against uh, Crystal Palace um, and interestingly if Palace were to beat Wolves uh, tomorrow would be the first time in their history they'd beaten us in three successive league games however Palace have only beaten Wolves once in nine attempts, apparently, at, at Molyneux, according to the stats. Anyway, my team uh, for this one is, I'm going to go with the 3-4-3. Saar in goal, the usual defence, um, Kilman, Saiz and Cody. Uh, middle of the park, uh, I'm going Martinho and Neves. Um, eight Norrie. On the uh, the one side, we I think we really missed him, and then I'm going to I'm going to say we're going to start Johnny Otto, uh, over uh, personally, and then up front roll back in leading the lines. Hopefully, be hungry. Uh, Daniel Pedence is a shoe in for me. He should have started against West Ham, and I would start Pedro Neto even if we only get like 45, 55, 60 minutes out of him. I think you know he looks fit to me. Um, and we want to get on the front foot against Palace. We need to start getting back to winning ways. We need to get more points on the board. We need to really make the most of these next few games coming up and hopefully get the win. Um, we've got, um, just whilst I'm on, I just want to say we, we had just big thanks to Tim Spears, the athletic journalist that came on Thursday night for the live show. If you've not watched that, I'll put the card up there. I'll also put a link in the end description. It's definitely worth a watch. Really insightful. We covered uh, me, Manny, Paul, Cup, and Tim. We covered a lot of subjects and questions. Um, before we go in any more, it's time to hear from my dad, Mr. Magic Moss, on his thoughts ahead of this one. So we're here at pre-Crystal Palace uh, with Magic Moss. And you, you've just been to have your hair cut, ain't you, Dad? I sure have, David. I sure have. You're looking sharp, Dad. What do you reckon? What do you reckon? What do you reckon? I reckon. What do you reckon? I reckon if you, you reckon. You reckon, I reckon, you reckon. <laughs> what do you reckon, uh, everyone that's watching, do you think Dad's looking sharp? Let us know in the comments. And who have you got with you, Dad? Uh, uh, that's De uh, what they call him? Sydney, oh, that's yeah, Sydney. That's not Derek. No, Derek. Der Derek's over there. Derek's over there. there. Yeah. There's Sid there's Sydney. Dad, obviously disappointment. Uh, I'm sure people are interested to hear your opinions on the West Ham game. What did you think? I, I, I'm disappointed, Davy, because they, they put it together since they played Tottenham. When they beat Tottenham, they were brilliant. And I thought they was on the way then, but since then, they don't seem to have any bottle in them. So you're not, you wasn't very pleased then? Oh, yeah, very pleased if they wanted to get in the top four or top six. 
they got to do a little bit better on that because they don't seem to be no cool about them. No fire. No bottle. Or what would got. you give the West Ham performance rating? About five. About a five. Same as all of us then. Yeah. Dad, let's look ahead to Crystal Palace now. Saturday, three o'clock kickoff. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Uh, what are you thinking ahead of that one now then? Well, let's hope they can beat them one nothing. You're going to go for a 1-0? One 1-0, nil. One, one nil, yeah. And who's going to score that goal, Dad? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 be careful. Bonanza. <laughs> of course he is, of course he is. Of course he is. So what's your song that you're going to sing, Dad? What was the song I was going to sing? You were saying something about you're not going to forsake wolves. Oh, I was it was. Uh, Do not forsake me, oh my dark wolves. On this our wedding day. And there's mum and dad look on their wedding day. Lovely. Do not forsake me, oh wondrous. Uh, on our wedding day. Who are you going to marry wolves? Oh, oh, no. <laughs> on our wolves day. On our wolves day. Uh, yeah. And we're going to. We're going to be uh, Crystal Palace one nothing, David. Yeah. All right, Dad. Uh, yeah. Absolute quality as always, Dad. Yeah, yeah. Do not. Got... I think. Uh, do I'll not. Forget forsake... a little bit nowadays. I oh, know. Do not. Fors... So the message is to all the Wolves fans: Do not forsake. Do not forsake the Wolves. They'll come good in the end. Fantastic. Always Wolves. Dad. Always Wolves, David. Always Wolves, David. Look after yourself and everybody else. Love you. So, yeah, thanks to my dad, as always. Hope you put a smile on your face. And, of course, don't forget to smash that like if you enjoyed this him being part of the previews. And football prizes of a latest Wolves prize. The Neto one was won. Um, uh, the Neto shirt and the Pedro and the Pedent shirt was won in the last couple of weeks. Now they've got a fully signed Wolves pendant. Uh, this uh, launch is launched now. Uh, available to enter up until Wednesday night at 7.30. the Wolves prizes are always drawn live on their on their on their facebook page actually normally about midday on the thursday so um i'll put the link in the description below to that so if you want to enter that you can get involved so on to my um score prediction for this one i'm going to feel positive um if we've had a good week of rest and training um hopefully everyone's going to be re-energized and if we can get on the front foot i'm hoping that we can win it i'm going to go for a two nil that the uh, the attack are going to be in form and the defence are going to get back to keeping the ball out the back of the net. And hopefully we can get on the front foot and we can get back to winning ways. Get another three points on the on the board that sets us up nicely for the uh, for the game after that. Don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comment below. Do you agree with my starting line-up? Um, do you agree with my score prediction? And uh, as I say, make sure you check out that podcast. It's also available on Always Wolves with Tim Spears. It was really, really insightful. And hopefully you'll enjoy that as well. So... Lots of content coming up after the game, as, as always. Um, but until then, I'm Dazzling Dave, always Wolves.